Hello, cake friends. I want to talk to you about this topic of niching down your cake business today. Are you a jack of all trades and master of none? Hi, cake friend, and welcome to the Home Bakers Hive YouTube channel, a place where bakers get together to learn how to run a profitable baking business. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let's grow together. Well, I want to let you know that, you know, we can possibly not be doing everything, all right? And we can also not be selling to everyone, all right? If you sell to everyone, then you sell to no one. And that is the most, most important thing that you need to know. In the cake industry, there are so many things that you can do. You can supply, you can decorate, you can, you know, support other cake makers, but then choose a niche, and choosing a niche is very easy. It's about focusing on your zone of genius. Your zone of genius starts with your passion. What are you passionate about? And then secondly, you need to link your passion to what is profitable. Then you actually come down to the business equation, which tells you that your passion might not always be equal to your profit. Bang. So then what are we saying? How do we, should we always be passionate about what we are doing? Yes, there should definitely definitely be some sort of passion right so if you are passionate about baking and you know that you know you don't like a certain type of a decorating style you don't like a certain type of thing in the baking industry then you can definitely niche down and niching down is so good because the riches are in the niches Look, we as cake makers are always looking out for new things to do. We are always looking out for new things to try. So if you are the sugar flower queen, then you can support other cake makers that want to do sugar flowers. You can actually save them so much time and heartache just by supplying them with really pretty sugar flowers or really beautiful cake toppers. Or you could have a cake supply business so that you can supply cake equipment to other cake makers. But then the point of the matter is that you need to niche down. OK, maybe you could be the macaron queen. Maybe you could be the sugar cookie queen. Maybe you could be the novelty cake queen and you could be known for, you know, there's elaborate cake designs that are over the top. Maybe you could be the, you know, the luxury wedding cake queen. But then I want you to know this one thing that you need to niche down. We will not all have the same decorating aesthetic. We will not all have the same decorating style. We will not all have the same thing. But then there are really clients out there. When we are working with niches, there are clients out there that love a certain style, that love a certain technique. For example, just because everyone is doing the fondant cake thing, you don't have to do fondant cakes. You could just specialize in doing beautiful buttercream cakes that actually look like fondant cakes, right? Because they are so smooth that have probably you could do fondant cakes or let me say buttercream cakes that have a very modern posh style but then at the end of the day try to niche your business down it's going to save you so much time and money remember if you're jack of all trades you would need to buy all the supplies all the ingredients that have to do with baking and if you decide to do everything then you're really spreading yourself so thin and your profits will not be rolling in. Say, for example, you could even just focus on vegan baking or you could just focus on gluten-free baking. These are some awesome niches where, guys, you can just market yourself and make good money. But then just don't do everything because you'd be spreading yourself thin, you'd be buying all the ingredients, the cake supplies. But then if you niche down, people will know you for this one thing they will know you for this one offer they will know you for this one thing and if we talk about you 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 if we talk about you then we'll be like mm, you could go to that for her i mean if you want that don't go anywhere else just go to her because we know that you are the master of your craft think about that today i'll see you in the next one